peeps welcome back to my channel back today with another video for you guys i am trying to bring in the video and be consistent with my videos on my channel so i hope you enjoy this video here today that i have for you now when i went to Ulta recently i had picked up a lipstick kit from the rock and it's part of their holiday season kits that they come out with every year and i never tried none of their lippies so i thought why not pick it up and i picked it up there's two of them that they have out there from this brand la rock this is what it looks like it's 29.99 and these are what the shades look like this is the box that it comes in and in the back here these are the shades of the lip sticks i wanted to come up here and do a lip swatch just in case you guys had seen this at your local altar and was curious about it i wanted to come up here and show you what the shades look like on skin tones like mine's or if you're my skin tone you would see how it looks and if you're interested in picking it up at least right here you get to see what the color tones are on my skin tone so i picked up the volume one one which intrigued me a little bit more than the volume two one seems a little bit more lighter for lighter skin tones and i figured this one would be perfect for my skin tone so i picked this one up while i was at Ulta. Yeah, let's just jump right into these lip swatches and the demo so let me open it up so i can show you what it looks like it comes in this pretty pink lipstick tubes and these are all the shades that's in here let's do some swatches of these shades let's do this first one this first one here is called working girl And it looks like a very cool tone type nude light pink color and this is what it looks like when you open it up it does have the the Lorac brand printed on the ferrule here and this is the beautiful shade and this is the amount of products that you get from the lipstick when you open it and I haven't tried these as yet it does have a nice like a mild vanilla scent to it so let's go ahead and swatch this shade and again this one is working girl and we're going to swatch it here and that's working girl it's very pretty it looks kind of peachy pinky tone the next one is called Duchess, and that's this one right here. And this one seems to be a little bit more tiny, deeper in tone, like this one. They both kind of look the same, but this one has a little bit more of a marvy tone and this is what the shade look like this one right here looks like it's gonna be my baby so let's go ahead and swatch it next to working girl and there it goes that beautiful mauve tone shade from swatching them they're very creamy i'm excited about that because i like my lipsticks to be creamy the formula seems very creamy so that's a plus the next one is called CEO and that's what this one looks like that's the name CEO and the shade is more of a deeper tone of the mauve shade so let's go ahead and swatch this one as well this is what this one looks like beautiful and we're gonna swatch it next to this one right here they're so 
pigmented and creamy and buttery and soft from just swatching it onto my skin and the next one in here is this one right here and this is the name of the shade I don't even know how to describe the undertone or the color of this but we're gonna go ahead and swatch it it's a pretty color very full ish color so that's what that one looked like it looks like it has a I don't know I don't want to butcher it up but that's what that looks like and again they're very smooth and creamy from swatching it this one right here is the next shade in here and that's what that one is called and these two kind of look alike one is deeper and one is lighter in tone but let's see how they look together as far as swatches this one seems very deep it's a deep tone so they're not the same as what they look like here on the tube. See, they're very different. So that's good. See, they're very different in tones and color, tone, shade, color, whatnot. But we're gonna go ahead and swatch this very deep color right here. I'm all into these deep colors. I really love deep colors during the fall and winter season. So that's that shade. I'm very impressed just from the swatches. It feels very good. So let's go ahead and start with the lightest to lightest shade here on the lips and see how they look on the lips. I'm gonna use my Laura Gala lip liner in the shade spice and i'm gonna go ahead and and do this quick lining of the lip okay i already applied the liner and we're gonna apply this shade here which was the first shade in the kit which was working girl which is the lightest light nudie shade and we're gonna see how it shows up on my lip tone here oh okay it's so pigmented you gotta go light with it I don't even know like look at this it looks like okay let me just go light with it Like this one for my skin tone but this is this one right here and it's the very first one on the top and it's very true to color as you can see so even though I have a lip liner on it doesn't look that great on my skin tone let's fix that a little bit more yeah let's go ahead and take this off got me looking like crackhead lips and, uh, i'm not gonna use that i'm gonna most more than likely give that to give that away give it away to one of my niece or somebody that um, likes those kind of um likes those kind of shades on their lip but again this is this one i don't like this shade for me so let's try another one Okay, I went on ahead and take that off. We got to take that baby off. Let's try the next one that is, what's, which one is this? Dutchess. Let's try Dutchess and see how Dutchess shows up on the lip. If it's going to show up like this first one we tried, which was working girl. Let's try Dutchess. Okay, Duchess, I see you. You see Duchess? Yeah. I, I can rock with Duchess. They feel 
very creamy and smooth on the lips as well as the swatches so I like that Duchess would need a lip liner as well. So let me see. Let's try this next lip liner in the shade Blue Taupe. And let's put some lip liner around this one and see how it looks. I really like this color. It's kind of like an everyday lipstick type color and that's what this one is looking like. Pull up a little. So yeah, let's try the other one and let me show you again what this shade is. It's this one right here called Goddess. Duchess. My bad y'all. It's a very nice everyday shade. I will definitely go through this because it's something you just throw in your purse and just touch up with. The next one we're going to try is CEO. So let me take off this one. Let's put on CEO. I need some chapstick because my lips is starting to feel dry. So let's put some chapstick. I really didn't want to do too much of the chapstick because I didn't want it to manipulate the formula. Maybe, yeah, let's see. I'm not going to put the chapstick yet. It's not that dry, dry yet from the rubbing of taking off the lipstick but yeah we're gonna do CEO right now and again this is what CEO looks like and we're gonna try CEO I'm amazed with how creamy and smooth this formula is look at that that's CEO yes it's a nice another everyday color on camera it looks like my lips but better with a little bit of hint of color but here it looks like i don't know but i like it i really like it I hope they wear well on the lips and they last for a decent amount of time on the lips because I hate lipstick that don't do too much of a good job of um, lasting on the lips. You know what I mean? Y'all know what I mean. So we're going to take off CEO and we're going to try the next shade. Mm -hmm. I like this one. I really like the formula of these lipsticks. I never purchased their lipsticks before and I saw the kit at Ulta and it was very inexpensive so I was like throw it in the bag you know I like, it wouldn't hurt to try it and test it out and see if it's something that's I would like so let's try out the next shade which is this one right here I'm trying to hold up a mirror and do this at the same time but yeah let's try this pretty color one right here this is so pretty I like this one and that's this one right here there you go and let's put it on the lips Oh yeah, this look like a nice, it looks like a nice red, but on my lips it looks red, but I don't know, with a um, pink undertone, I, let me stop trying to describe the undertones because I'm just all over the place with the undertones, but it's a nice shade for my skin tone and complexion. For the holidays especially. So let's 
put that on. I like this one. I'm trying not to get it out on the edges, so that's why I'm taking my time and putting it on. Mm, I just love the feel of it on my lips. It's so creamy. Like, it is really creamy and pigmented. So that's how that looks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a nice shade. I like it. Let me know. If you guys picked this up and tried it out and what are your thoughts on it if you have already tried out the Lorac formula like I said I never tried out the lipstick and I was like get it girl why not so yeah let's go ahead and take this off I like it it's a nice color mm -hmm. let's take it off Try to make sure I don't feather out on my lips. Okay, my lips is really feeling dry, but we got one more. And being that we didn't prep the lip, you know why, of course, because like I said, I didn't want to manipulate the formula. I wanted to see exactly what the formula was working with as far as the shades and the color and how it would look on my lips tone right here. <laughs> so we're going to put this to the side and try out the last one that comes in this lipstick kit. And this is this one right here again, and I'm going to show it to you. So you can see. And let's put it on mullet. This one, I'm going to really like this one. Because these is more up my alley. <laughs> yes. Mmm, yeah. What I like about this so far is that it's so creamy and pigmented it's like when you're putting it on you have to be very mindful because it is very pigmented so yeah this is gonna be my baby for the fall as well as this one right here so yeah, I like it. I like how it looks on me. I like the feel of it on my lips. And I like when I do this, it feels very moisturizing on the lips. And it doesn't like wipe off the lipstick, like shift it around too much, but it just do a nice little blend of it when you do that. And ah. I like it so what you guys think I like it it's a nice little lip kit and I think I'm gonna go back and pick up the next kit which is volume 2 to it and again these are the Laroc mode goddess afterglow lipstick set and that's what that looks like and like I said the one I picked up was this one right here and it's a steal. It's a steal. I think if you have not purchased the Lorac lipstick and you're curious to find out how the formulas are on the lipstick, just like me, because I never purchased their lipstick. So I was curious and I picked it up. It's a good buy and I do not regret it at all. Um, let me see what else they could give us about this. It says... I'm going to just read the back real quickly. It says, you are a modern goddess and should be celebrated from the first swipe to the last kiss of the night. This limited edition Lorac Los Angeles Alter Ego Lipstick Set 
will transform you into a goddess of beauty the rest is up to you so yeah that's what it says in the back and that's a nice little quotation yeah, let me look at this shade again i really like uh-huh i really hope it wears well and long on the lip meaning that it's long lasting that it's not gonna fade or smudge in a few hours i hope it at least if it's gonna be a little bit um less wearable at least let it wear at least four hours so definitely i will keep you guys posted and let you guys know how the wear is and how long this lipstick wears on my lips i'm gonna say goodbye for now really hope you enjoyed this first impression demo of the kit and if you picked it up or if you see it at Ulta because that's where I got it from let me know if you agree or if you disagree with my opinions in the comment down below but other than that I think it's a good buy it's a good steal and if you haven't tried out the Lorac formula before Get these, try it out, and see if you like it. It's nice to me. It feels very comfortable, and I like it a lot. And that's all I'm going to say for now. I will talk to you all in my next video. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And, um, yeah, we will chat later. Bye.